showing you how to make a blueberry jello mousse cake. The things that you're going to be needing are one fourth cup of sugar, one fourth cup of oil, half a cup of condensed milk, or you can use two eggs, one teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a cup of milk, a bowl in the whisk, half a cup of whipping cream, blueberries, and a blueberry jello package. The first thing that you're going to want to do is add in your oil and your sugar. Whisk that well. Now you can add in your condensed milk. Instead of using condensed milk, you can always add in two eggs. Mix it until it gets into this kind of runny texture. Now we can sift in our flour, baking soda, and baking powder. Now I can whisk that together. After you whisk that for a little bit, you can add in your milk. After you mix it, it should come in about this kind of consistency. Just keep whisking it for a little bit and then after we can add it into a pan and then we can bake it inside of the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes. I'll show you how the cake looks after it comes out of the oven. So now I'm going to be preparing the jello. I've taken only half of what the packaging is so I'm going to be using about one full cup of ice because I want the process to be faster and I only used half of the package and then used half a cup of water. So first I'm gonna dump in all of this, the powder. Then I'm gonna be adding in my half cup of hot water. I'm gonna whisk that together. After that, I can add in my one cup of ice. Mix that until it kind of dissolves and turns a little chunky. Now I've removed the ice pieces left over that didn't melt. I'm gonna set this inside the fridge until it turns into a jello consistency, which is about 30 minutes. So the cake has come out of the oven and this is how it looks like. I have cut it up and put it into a smaller glass bowl because the whole point of this cake is to be able to see it through something clear. So I've cut it up into a smaller container. Now we're gonna be showing you how to make the whipping cream frosting. First, you're gonna need a bowl. In your bowl, you're going to want to add your half cup of whipping cream. I've already made a whipping cream frosting recipe so you can check that out on the right hand side below by clicking this link over here. But I'm gonna be making this one a little bit differently by adding in the jello that we set inside the fridge. Now I'm gonna use the KitchenAid mixer to mix this up until it forms a stiff peak. Mix it on two and then slowly go up higher. Now you can add in a little bit of sugar if you want during the process. 
Now our whipping cream is fully formed, so we're gonna be adding in our jello. I've taken the jello and crushed them into smaller pieces like this, and now we can just add it straight into the whipping cream. Add a little bit at a time. So now this is fully mixed up. Take a look at that, it's still a little bit soft. We don't want it to be the whipping cream texture, we want it to be a little bit smoother. So this is how it looks like, kind of a little bit runny. So now we can put this right on top of our cake. So I'm gonna be using the spoon to scoop out the icing. You're gonna have a lot left over, so you can always use it for any kind of cake that you like. Now you can have a little, give a little top, then it's perfect. Now we can let this sit in your fridge for a little bit, and then we're gonna be making our jello topping. So I've removed the cake out of the fridge, and this is how it looks like. Instead of using blueberries, I decided to use strawberries, so I'm gonna be placing the strawberries on top of the cake like this. how it looks like now we're going to be starting to make our jello topping so to make our jello topping i'm going to use the other half of the jello packaging so what you're going to do is you're going to add in the powder first then add in your hot water i use only half a cup of hot water because i'm doing half of the usual measurements then whisk that in well After you whisk that in, you want to add in your cold water, half a cup as well. Before we put this in the fridge, you want to remove all of the bubbles that you see on the top here. So this time, I'm not going to be putting this straight in the fridge, I'm actually going to be pouring it over our cake. So I'm going to be showing you how I did that. So here's the cake. So grab a tablespoon and you're going to grab your mixture and pour it into something a little bit smaller to work with. So I have some of my mixture over here and back of the spoon. So I'm going to turn this the other way around I'm going to pour it right over. If you need to, just push in the strawberry a little bit to be fully covered. Now I'm gonna pop that back in the fridge. So this is how the cake looks like after I've left it in the fridge for about two to three hours. Now I'm gonna be cutting out a slice of cake. It's just like an ocean, very beautiful and bright. Now I'm gonna cut a small slice out. So I've cut the slice of cake out and this is how it looks like. You can see the different layers between the cake, the whipping cream icing, and the jello. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Thank you for watching. Bye!